The man who survived a fall from the zoo interchange overpass says he does not think that he would have fallen over had the interstate been plowed better. Richard Oliver was behind the wheel of his truck that fell 70 feet last weekend. He tells our Stephanie Haynes that he was thinking right as he was going over the edge. 34 year old Richard Oliver was going to visit his mom on a route he takes almost every day when he says he lost control. His car hit the snow near the edge and the rest is hard for him to talk about. I remember I hit the snow and I'm like, oh, hopefully it hits the wall and it just kept going. And my brain was like, uh oh, that we're on a bridge. And I blacked out. And the last thing, the next thing I remember, mm -hmm smelling the airbag in the truck. He said he tried to crawl out the back of his truck, but four good Samaritans immediately came running to help. Richard believes they helped save his life. Just amazing people because I see accidents all the time and people just drive right by and they don't care. He's in a lot of pain, but he was able to sit up in a wheelchair for the first time Friday next to his fiance Candace at Fredert Hospital. He said doctors put seven plates in his broken back and screwed his knee back together. He said he may be able to leave the hospital within the week and he has seen the video. My main thing, I, I personally believe if that that emergency lane would have been plowed to the barrier. I think my, the front of my truck would have slid into it. It would have grinded along it and stopped. Surviving the crash has changed his life in so many ways. He knows recovery will be tough, but he's inspired to help others more and maybe bring awareness to his story. I'm a real, real strong person. I, know, I do know that about myself, so I'm not going to give up. Richard says he might be in a wheelchair for about a year, so his fiance set up a GoFundMe to help with recovery and rehabilitation. We have that link up right now at TMJ4.com. In Milwaukee, Stephanie Haynes, TMJ4 News. Amazing, Stephanie. Well, we're also hearing the first 911 calls from that scene. Witnesses couldn't believe their eyes. I was, I was on the highway and I was going towards the off ramp and a car just flipped off the off ramp. It, it ran off the over okay. and literally drops into the snow. Oh, my heart is pounding. Now again, you can find a link to the driver's medical fund donation page at tmj4.com. Coronavirus.